Biden's in East Palestine, Ohio today, more than a year after a train derailment spewed toxic chemicals into the town's air, soil, and water supply. The president promised he'd visit the town weeks after the derailment, but was just waiting for the right time. Like election season. Here's the president. I want to thank uh, the folks of East Palestine to know. I want them to understand that uh, we're not going home no matter what till this job is done. And it's not done yet. There's a lot more to do. Well, the vast point majority has been done. But we're going to stay to the very end. While there are acts of God, this was an act of greed that was 100 percent preventable. Let me say it again. An act of greed that was 100 percent preventable. Residents protesting Sleepy Joe's late visit, and for good reason. One East Palestine man says he can still smell chemicals. Listen to this. When President Trump came, you know, you, you, you almost in the background, you heard Toby Keith's song, courtesy of the Red, White, and Blue, or Steve Perry's Journey song, Open Arms. You know, when Biden's going to show up here in a little bit, I think his lead motorcade car is going to be playing American Idiot by Green Day. He should have been here a way, way long time ago and had a game plan. It's been a year, a year, over a year. And we're still waiting. You know, I don't know what his sleep schedule is, but, you know, it, it, it probably might have taken a year to build up to this trip. I, I don't know. As he points out, a better president was already there. Donald Trump calls it an insult for Joe to take the trip a year late. Judge Jeanine, um, I don't think he would have gone if the press hadn't just kept asking about it. He wouldn't have ignored it. Yeah, well, look, you know, there's a saying, better late than never. I think in the East Palestine case, it's better never mm. than late. Mm. I mean, what he did was he just allowed that town to percolate their anger. The, it is a Republican conservative county, and he didn't show up there. And Karine Jean-Pierre kept saying, well, his schedule, he can't do it. You know, when he can fit it into his schedule. Guys, he had 140 days of vacation last year. You had 14, if you're lucky, 140. And at 745, so much for we're going to be here until this is finished. 745, he's going to Rehoboth Beach tonight. And this is a toxic train disaster in a chemical spill. He says everything's okay. I think that was his line. Everything is okay now. But the truth is that these residents want low interest rates. They want no interest rates, loans. They, they want the CDC to monitor the, the town. And what they want is they want to be safe. They want to survive. They say they can still smell it. And, you know, it is, it is really a sad scenario where this guy, and you got to admit, Jesse, this guy today speaking is very different from the Joe Biden who spoke in 2021. That cognitive decline and the inability to speak is, is uh, you could see it. It is clear as day. Why do you think he took so long to go over there, Martha? I, I think it's partly political, as Janine says. I think he looks at that district. He looks at Pennsylvania. Um, you know, but over the, on the whole, the, the polls that we're seeing in Pennsylvania is, you know, you see one swing state poll has Trump up five, and then there was one that, that showed Biden up eight. This is going to be a tight state, Pennsylvania. Yeah. So he needs to pay attention to the entire state of Pennsylvania. It's also on the border of Ohio, so you've got mixed media markets on that border between Ohio and Pennsylvania. And I, I do, I, I agree with Janine, when you look at, if you compare this president and the way he spoke just now, and this is objective to the way he was speaking a year or two ago, there's a change. We had a poll this week, 81% say that they don't believe that the president is up to another term. So he's got a lot of problems on his hands. Um, he scolded Congress. <laughs> I thought it was interesting that he scolded Congress this week for taking two weeks off and not coming back with a, a foreign policy um, funding plan for Ukraine and Taiwan. Yep. I was like, maybe you don't want to go there with yep. the 140 days that you just brought up, Janine. So. Judge Jimmy. Yes. <laughs> I still, you have to, I think Your you have Honor. to, em, you do have to embrace the magnitude of the day. It's historic in the sense that it's not every day a train wreck visits a train wreck, you know, but that's the reality of what we're looking at here. It's obviously the condition of the polls, but let's not forget the condition of the town right now. If Biden goes a year ago and brings attention to the situation, you are looking at derailed trains. You are looking at burnt out buildings. It's a little cleaner now. 
and the optic for him is better. I don't think they wanted to highlight the ineptitude of the transportation situation a year ago. But the reason the presidents are supposed to go to situations like this, because people always say, what's the big deal? He goes, he doesn't go. What does it matter? It's not like he picks up a shovel. It's because when the president goes to the site of a tragedy, he brings the White House press pool, and that nationalizes the story. It gives us a, hey, we're all in this together. Like when Trump got in trouble for throwing paper towels, I believe it was down in Florida or Puerto Rico, oh, maybe. Puerto Rico. Okay, to get that right. Okay, part of being there is the camaraderie of the American people are here to lend you our support. So him not going a year ago was an indifference to them. Him showing up today is a very brazenly way of saying the politics are more important than the people. There's no way around that. Jessica. So I would never deny the politics of a politician. Mm -hmm. Left, right, and center, everybody does what's going to be good and advantageous for them. It is in Ohio, but obviously Pennsylvania is completely clutch for him. And Ohio is gone for most Democrats, except maybe Sherrod Brown. Fingers crossed he can hold on there. But we don't win statewide there anymore. Um, presidents, though, cannot go to every disaster. It's just not physically possible. Take your point, vacation, if you want to do the... How many vacation days did Trump take? How many Biden did? I'm prepared for that conversation, but they can't go to everything. And we already discussed the fact that the second there was a hurricane in Florida in July over the summer, President Biden went down there shoulder to shoulder with Ron DeSantis, who said he's giving us everything that we need. I could not be happier with the administration, with FEMA, et cetera. But because of politics, when these things happen, there is a lot of faux outrage. And I remember back in 2016 when Donald Trump was campaigning, he showed up in Flint, Michigan a district he would never win. And he said, I'm going to deal with your water crisis efficiently and effectively. And you know what else? I'm going to talk about it in my first joint session of Congress. And he got up there and he said nothing about Flint, Michigan. And Dan Kildee, who's the congressman there, released a statement saying, we're disappointed you brought someone who was actually working on the crisis. And you talk about the paper towel throwing is yeah. endearing. There are a lot of people who thought that it was offensive. Yeah, Twitter. So Donald, not just Twitter, like real life people. And he went down there two weeks after, which is, was in the appropriate amount of time. That's when the mayor said, you know, you should come down here. Mm -hmm. He threw the paper towels at people, and there was an oh. IG report out of HUD. He didn't throw it to that showed. Yeah, it was like trying to <laughs> bean him like it was dodgeball. Now, let me ask you a serious question. No, no, let me ask you well, if see, I could just finish, and of then course. I will take any. Of, of course. Serious question, because we do have to go, Jessica. If someone no, 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 is no, 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 over no. there, I'm 20 feet away, and they're asking for paper towels, Enough. how should the president deliver those paper towels? Should he walk? That person did not walk in and say, you know what I need, sir? I need some bounty. Okay. They were there handing a, out bounty. They were handing them out. You, who elected Are you, you the really? spokesperson for the paper towel recipient? Yeah, that's not I a hill you're going to die on, That red light is on. I will die on this hill. There was an IG report <laughs> out of HUD <laughs> that showed that $20 dying. billion dollars in aid for uh -huh. Puerto Ricans after Hurricane Maria mm -hmm. was delayed. Mm -hmm. That was on Donald Trump's watch. I, I didn't hear about it from anyone who but was so Biden is supposed to be better than Trump. He's yeah. not. Well, Trump's not supposed to be okay. a standard. Right. But at least we've admitted that, that Donald Trump was supposed I don't to be the guy who would get, make Americans feel comfortable again. He's supposed to be the big man in the room. He's Whether supposed you to be yeah. for me or not. Who, who is he comforting? No one. No one that you know. A lot of people that I know, and the people in Florida, like Ron well, DeSantis. There are a few Democrats in that town. He's there not are, comforting it's not them. Just, and you know what? The other guy, you know, I, we, yeah, the uh, what's his name? Transportation, Buttigieg. Listen. He didn't even tweet about him for a while. He didn't even oh know about it. Today is a win because it's the first time he went near a train track and didn't tell that dumb story about the Amtrak yeah. conductor who died 20 years before he got into office. Yeah, and, and it's a victory. Was real. And he put a bad a, dude. <laughs> Next. One thing, Jessica. No, um, the no money more things. That actually went to Puerto Rico. Yeah. It was stolen by a Democrat politician. So take that. Click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You won't get it anywhere else.